June 4th, 4th Wednesday, um, the second day of a uh, gale force winds blowing out of the west, uh, which is the opposite of what we'd like. We're trying to go west. June 5th, Thursday. We're still um, pinned down here at the south point of San Nicolas Island. Yeah, we're hoping to get everything squared away and get um, get underway here within the next couple days. Hopefully the wind dies down. I don't know if the mic can pick that up, but it's, it's howling out there. Hi, it's storming again. We're still here. We'll be leaving soon, I hope. I'm gonna go find me some chocolate. This is our third gale. One lasted two days, one was about one day. We'll see how long this one lasts. Here's my little workstation for the day. Taking bottles out of this net here. And I'm gluing the lids on, taping them into bundles of seven. Take them, take them up here. I give them to Marcus. He makes them into bundles. Bundles of uh, four to six of those. Then uh, when the support boat comes out, they bring in 100 pounds of lead and some dive belts. We'll tie dive belts with the lead around these mini pontoons here. Sink them beneath the raft. Release the belts. Tie him in place underneath the raft, and uh, there he is. It'll push us up. Here's more. What, what is today? The 14th, Saturday the 14th. It's been two weeks. Um, I think since I last did a little video diary entry, people came out on the dive boat and helped out. What else is that? We're still there. <laughs> what else is it? Moved. Oh, we're basically in the exact same spot as the last time I made an entry, and that was like four or five days ago. We drifted north for a while, and now we're fighting our way back south with a little bit of wind. We're doing maybe one and a half knots over the ground. This current's ripping, though. It's like a knot of current, so we're going two and a half faster than the, through the water, which is pretty good, so... If we could just get out into the area that's downwind and down current, we'll be doing some big days. This is the mizzen main. I made this little boom here just the other day too to hold it out. And all this is so that we could sail at 90 degrees to the wind instead of straight downwind. And um, my body seems to be sloughing off most of its skin. <laughs> I'm sure you want to see that. Yeah, you can see that dangly there from my toe. That's, that's my skin. over my stuff. That's my skin. That's disgusting. <laughs> that's like skin. a freaking snake. <laughs> Jesus, that is. That dangly off my back. Look, look at that. Damn, dude. That's my. I, walk, I go barefoot a lot, so I get this pad built up, and then Damn. after soaking it in salt water for, I guess, two weeks, the whole thing just sloughs off. But my hands were doing the same thing. Peeled back fingernails, some old blood blisters. Oh, look at that, looks like an alligator or something. Looks like I'm 90 years old. This is the junk vessel on 1-6 that uh, you are circling with your aircraft. Overhead, uh, please come up to 1-6, over. Go up 1-6? I think he said, I don't know, I can understand him. Say, didn't copy. Uh, I didn't copy that. We're on 1-6. Where do you want us to go? Try up one. And jump from uh, U.S. Coast Guard. We're just kind of curious about your, uh, your boat, because we've never seen anything like that. Uh, just wondering where you guys are headed, where you're out of, uh, your home port. Our home port is uh, Long Beach. We left there three weeks ago and we're heading to Hawaii on a raft made from 15,000 plastic bottles, uh, Cessna aircraft fuselage, 
and uh, about 5,000 plastic bags woven into rope. And we should get to Hawaii, we're hoping, in about two months. And uh, John from U.S. Coast Guard, that's uh, quite a feat if you guys do that. It's an interesting boat. Uh, you guys need anything, just real quick, uh, while we're overhead. Weather report. We heard there's storms down south. A weather report would be good. If you know of any storms down south heading up this way, we'd love to know that. And Chuck from uh, U.S. Coast Guard, if you guys will stand by on this creek, uh, we'll climb up and we'll uh, call somebody real quick up on the, uh, when we get up high, once we get a radio, good radio signal, and uh, give you a call and let you know uh, what we find out. Roger that, Coast Guard, standing by on 21. Thank you. <laughs> Vessel bound for Hawaii, is there a website I can see this? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, we've got a few more questions real quick. As far as power goes, you only have those solar panels. Um, is that the only power you have? You have any battery backups? And a sail plan, we're just curious if you filed a sail plan that the U.S. Coast Guard knows about this and the, and the safety gear. How much, uh, like in life jackets and rafts or things like that? Um, we filed, uh, Flow plan through our EPIRB registration. In terms of safety equipment, we have PFDs, we have a four man life raft, we have two handheld water makers, EPIRB, handheld GPSs, handheld VHFs. Over. Cummy suits. Alright, Captain, sounds like you guys are prepared. Well, that's that, Captain. Uh, I think we got everything we need. Um, you guys be safe and be careful, and if you guys need anything, uh, you got the Coast Guard. Hey, thanks a lot, and um, can you give us any information about the weather of the next couple of days? We heard there were some tropical storms to the south off the coast of Mexico. Um, if, if that's true, we'd like confirmation. Also, maybe coordinates um, and direction the storm may be heading and wind speed, over. Thank you very much, and hopefully we'll not need your assistance, but we won't hesitate to call if uh, things take a turn for the worst. Over. Roger that. Coast Guard Aircraft, uh, stand by on channel 1-6, out. Junkraft, standing by 1-6, out. Roger that. Well, that was the highlight of the day. It's June 27th. We just can't seem to string several days of good wind in a row. Look at that. Yeah, hold them in the sun. It's gorgeous. Get, get over there close, closer to her. Just make sure her rudder doesn't hit like that. The second time I was there, I was towing my boat. Um, my boat, after I'd rowed across the Atlantic, got shipped to Miami. And then okay. she was on display at the Museum of Science and Industry in Tampa for a while. Oh, wow. And I went to pick her up from there and drove her from there to San Francisco, which was a really cool trip. There it is, land, the first time. Oh. 